It's time for EdTech Mondays, brought to you by Mastercard Foundation and CC Hub. Welcome to another episode of the EdTech Mondays Nigeria show, where we explore the dynamic world of education technology in Nigeria. My name is Chinyelu Akpa, your host, and it's good to be here again. Today, we continue the conversation on EdTech for diverse learning styles and needs by focusing on crucial aspects of inclusive education, supporting visually impaired learners. If you missed the episode, the last episodes of this theme this month, you need to go back and listen because it has been very interesting where we have spoken to you know people who have insights on different le learning styles, dyslexia, and um, how we can support them leveraging technology. You can listen on Spotify at EdTech Mondays Nigeria or watch on YouTube at CC Hub Africa. And when you do, do well to drop a feedback. This week, our guest is the CEO and Director of Social Impact at Vinsight Limited. With a background in sociology, he has unique sociological perspectives on the challenges faced by the visually impaired in Nigeria, as he believes that society plays a vital role in supporting the delivery of quality and inclusive education to persons living with visual impairments. He has led Vinsight in various advocacy and digital learning programs for visually impaired people across Nigeria. He was responsible for supervising the implementation of AI-enabled assistive reading devices in seven schools for the blind across Nigeria, as well as training teachers of visually impaired students on the use of the products, directly impacting the life of over 5,000 visually impaired students, giving them access to quality education. Join me as I make welcome on the show today, Toriola Oladeji. Hello, Toriola. It's good to have you. Hi, Chinyelu. Uh, thank you very much for um, having me here today. Uh, it's actually a pleasure. Thank you. Yes, and, and when I was reading all of this, I was just casting my mind back to the beginning. <laughs> I know you're having your um, innovation hackathons mm -hmm. and the rest back yeah. 2019. In, in your bank. Yes. yes. So it's interesting to see how far you have come with the solution and how you have singled out a specific you know learning area and have dedicated your time alongside your other co-founders to see how you can improve education for learners who are visually impaired so well done to your team thank on you that. very much yeah so well all the thank you doesn't go to me so it goes <laughs> to my team members yes. also yeah you guys are doing amazing work um, so tell us, Vinsight, you know, how did it all begin? Why Vinsight? Why did you feel that there was a need to specifically single out learners who are visually impaired and think of ways to support them? And the interesting bit is the technology twist to it. How did, how did you even believe it was something people would be interested in? Um, okay, um, thank you. Um, pretty much, um, we started up inside after seeing lots of vision persons around us lose out on quality education. So, um, to be specific, right, uh, one of our co-founders then um, actually um, lost his eyesight. So, um, because of that single purpose, we had to, you know, take it upon ourselves to find ways to ensure that um, he's, you know, rehabilitated back, to, back into school. So, uh, we stumbled, stumbled upon a couple of solutions that could help, but they were not, you know, so um, accurate enough to actually help in, you know, helping me to read, to read his books. So we gathered ourselves around, my co-founders and I, and we did a bit of research and um, you know, we started you know, developing a solution that uses AI technology and OCR technology to scan text of books. What's OCR? You've said going overboard. <laughs> <laughs> so what's OCR? Just, you know, okay, um, yeah, OCR technology is um, optical character recognition technology. Okay. So pretty much what that does is it scans text of um, books and you know, reads it aloud okay. as audio outputs for oh. the user to listen to. Great. So, yeah. And yourself with your co-founder, yourself and the co-founders were able to you know figure out all of this big tech things just to help a friend a at friend. the time. Exactly. And so what you have shown is a pattern, you know, a recurring pattern 
with a lot of the founders who have graced this seat oh. um, is that you know, the edtech solutions they come up with are sometimes and most often times born from personal experience. And I really believe that when we have more people who are building from, you know, the user point, you understand the specific pain points and the challenges of the people you want to design and build for, you would mm -hmm. always have solutions that are viable and are meeting the specific learning needs. So well done to your team again. Awesome. Thank you. So your mission to help the visually impaired by leveraging technology is commendable, is mind-blowing. So this brings us to our next question. Um, what are some of the key technologies that Vinsight has developed to assist visually impaired learners in reading and navigating their environment independently? You mentioned the OCR technology. I believe that there are some other ones that you know, we don't know about. So let us know what is available and how have you guys been able to navigate that and make it accessible for learners in Nigeria? So what we did was, I would call it um, technically simple. So technically in the sense that um, it has a bit of, you know, technical aspect, which is the OCR technology. Um, but it's simple in the sense that it's actually a very simple technology that is, you know, easy to build. So uh, what we did was we, um, you know, um, called uh, one of my co-founders who is, you know, the um, fully tech client and he just, you know, wrote some codes and Configured developed. some things, did some exactly. magic. And, you know, he developed an APK file. So an APK file that, you know, works with Android devices. So initially we started with Android devices because it is like an accessible, More accessible. device for, you know, everybody. Everybody can afford it on like the iPhones. So uh, we developed the APK and we started out with testing f with our friend. Okay. So after he tested it and he was able to use it, then we now went out there and we, we were like, okay, this product can actually be used by other visual impaired persons, and this product can actually help them to you know drive inclusion and get access to um, you know quality education. Great. So I'm sure our listeners are very interested in my next question with you know understanding what's the first. You spoke about the technology that it is technically simple. Right, so the technical people is just very simple to implement. Mm -hmm. So, could you share um, how this has helped people in school? Because I'm thinking your friend tested it, but what's the practicality? How does it come alive for learners? Mm -hmm. You know, th what's the use case in the school setting? Because I'm think when we are speaking of edtech for learners with diverse learning needs, it's how does it work? Is it a tab? Is it a glasses? I'm think I'm already seeing James Bond in my head, and you just wear your glasses and just hold something, and he's reading it out to you. Or is it a pen? What's the tool itself? What? How does it work? Then how is it then used in the learning environment? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, it's technically simple. Okay. Um, so um, all the user needs it's, it's, it's an Android device with the app installed on it, and the user can just you know point the um, camera to a book, a printed book, and then tap on the screen once, and then the device reads aloud to the visual impaired user. Oh, wow. Yeah. You point the camera on your phone to, yes, a, book? to a book? Any book? Any book. It doesn't have to be a special book made by the inside. Not at all. Any book, printed text, and, and it reads it, it out. Yes, exactly. That's interesting. I can imagine how you are providing access, how you are making life, you know, easy for people who love to read, who need to read, who need to not be cut out of life because they have lost their sight or because they were born, you know, without that gift of seeing. So it's, it's and I, I think this is the point where you might want to just share some of the experiences, you know, your success stories. Um, okay, um, thank you very much. So pretty much um, why um, we you know, took our solution to um, the school of the blind in Parcelli. So uh, we figured that most of the students, they actually you know, have a lot of interest in reading books. Yeah. But because um, you know, um, Braille is, um, can be quite difficult to read sometimes because um, a single page printed text for Braille can be four um, pages for braille so yeah so that's wow. quite you know cumbersome so if someone is reading a book a textbook that has 500 pages for braille can be about maybe 1500 pages so that's a lot so yeah. so we figured that once there is a solution it's easier for them you know to actually read books faster 
and you know enjoy that experience mm. better than filling the dots. Mm. So that way they're actually able to you know enjoy the experience, the, experience. the reading experience. So um, I'm thinking about the technology behind this. You know where does AI stand in this technology because it's opening up the frontiers for everything that is possible for learners with special needs and it's all the buzz for artificial intelligence where does that put the insight and the solution you have developed okay so um in terms of ai right um the uh, rudimentary technology itself behind it is ai so in the sense that um for um, the solution to you know capture printed text itself and convert it to audio output. Mm -hmm. That is the work of AI. Mm -hmm. So we see um, you know, AI playing a long role for us in you know, developing a solution. And not just even to read books, to be able to you know, identify um, scenes, oh. um, even objects. So, so, adding, so I'm, I'm trying to think, do you have a feature or do you intend to develop a feature where whatever you know, is being captured by this camera on the device, translates moods as well so think of background sounds and this is where the inclusion comes in say for instance you're walking down a stormy path and you're you know you're i hear the clatter of footsteps down mm -hmm. the road clip clop clip mm -hmm. clop so and are you thinking of adding those little bits that help you know the experience come alive for the um these learners who are visually impaired so it feels like they are in a learning environment do you think it's something that artificial intelligence um being modified right mm -hmm. on your solution mm -hmm. would provide mm -hmm. yeah um pretty much that's something we're actually looking into um, um it's called um a massive reading experience mm. so um you put your 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 the users into that you know four dimension um environment whereby everything they are reading they are having that sound experience, experience to give them the feel of everything and to you know to be able to understand for example you can hear oh it was shot so yeah it gone shots mm -hmm. so, so something like that or um, you're in a busy market exactly. place and you're hearing the horns and the blaring of the horn and the market women exactly. who are trying to sell their words exactly. that's interesting so that creates you know a better experience, experience. and even you know create a lasting memory for even the learners they're able to learn better and they're able to even recollect mm. you know, on the long and road. just remind me again this is a solution that is was developed in nigeria by nigerians yes of course i'm i'm, I'm a nigerian of course. <laughs> so all um, of this knowledge yeah. was made available to you here in nigeria yeah in nigeria yes you didn't have to japa to make it happen uh, no 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 you're really speaking to not. me from nigeria <laughs> <Of course. laughs> so that that's what we're trying to see uh, and help people understand that there are people who are doing amazing work and who are helping learners you know break barriers who are widening the frontiers for teaching and learning, leveraging technology, and even singling out various learning areas and making it possible um, for learners to learn and have beautiful, amazing experiences in the journey of learning and for teaching for the teachers as well. So I must commend you on the beautiful work your team is doing. Um, so I'd like to understand what are some of the challenges you might have encountered in making all of this happen? Because I understand that Technology is not as simple as you have made it. So there are some, you know, little bottlenecks here and there. Um, maybe the adoption-wise or even ease of use, digital literacy. What are the challenges you've encountered, and how well or how would you want to be supported in the future? Okay. Um, first of right, I would say um, in terms of um, adoption. So um, that's that buzz about you know, for for instance, let me, let me start from when Braille came in. When Braille came in. Um, it started very little. Most people were not really using it because there was not there was not enough buzz about mm. it. So it's similar to what we are doing currently because there is no much buzz about you know the solution that can actually help the students mm. aside Braille. So um, that creates you know a problem of adoption mm. at the moment. However, we are actually looking for ways to really surmount that um, and you know try to see how we can leverage different partnerships mm. to you know create that mm -hmm. buzz and that mm -hmm. you know that adoption problem. And also, I would say another major thing is um, ease of use. So um, you, you know it's a solution built for people who are visually impaired. Mm -hmm. So we are still you know 
um, you know, every always thinking about the best way to design a solution to improve the UI to make sure that it is very very accessible for the students. Mm. So I would say that's a bit of a problem, but not a major problem. Mm. Unlike the problem of you know adoption. Oh, adoption. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, I believe that the first thing is putting word out there mm -hmm. that these solutions it's do available. exist. It's, it's available. available for use. Mm -hmm. And what, what's the subscription like? How do people assess it? How uh, it's, expensive it's, or not is it? Well, it's, it's currently not expensive. It's about 6,000 Naira um, per month and 60,000 Naira um, yearly subscription. Mm, and 6,000 per month and they can do everything, they anything do everything. with everything with the that solution. Yeah. So this is this is the point where we are also thinking about how we're able to get more individuals to partner with you, to have mm -hmm. activation, to have workshops, mm -hmm. speaking with different societies for the blind, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. groups yeah. that work with people who are visually impaired. Yeah, yes. So you, they, you help people know that these, these things, things do are exist. Available. Are you able exactly. to work with people in the hospitals and tell them if someone has been diagnosed, you know, and they just have been diagnosed with, you know, being blind, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to end. Their parents know that there is this device because I believe that you find a smartphone at least one smartphone in every mm -hmm. household Definitely. right now yeah. that means that learning can learning can still happen Upon, in yeah. any household mm -hmm. that a child has been diagnosed with blindness mm -hmm. so true. we are tasking you with that work to put yourself out there more mm -hmm. to help learners who are visually impaired understand that learning does not have to stop and I'm Definitely. particularly excited because I'm trying to imagine the experience they would have by just pointing mm -hmm. a device to a text, text yeah. and the book typically like actually does come alive mm -hmm. to them in their ears so well mm -hmm. done again on the good work that your team your founders and co-founders are doing i really want to hear okay. more about you is there a way that our listeners can reach out to you is there a way they can reach out to you to know more about your solutions and even you know try to test out and eventually subscribe to um, your solution oh definitely um uh, people can just reach out to us through our website um, at www.vinsight.com.ng and also we are you know reachable on instagram at um, vinsight uh, vinsight spelled as um, v-i-n-s-i-g-h-t-e so yeah we are we are definitely and when they follow you here they can get all the information all on how to engage yeah. great thank you so much Sorella, for coming on the show this week it has been very you know, inspiring to hear you and seeing what young Nigerians like you have made out of Nigeria awesome. and how you're supporting, you know, visually impaired learners leveraging technology in Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me also. Thank, Thank you. you. And to you, our listeners, do you know any learners who are visually impaired? What have been the challenges they have encountered in ensuring that learning does not stop? How best do you think we might support learners who are visually impaired or who have any other type of special learning need while leveraging technology? We'd love to hear from you. Send us a message or an SMS or a WhatsApp message to 0703-165-0809. We would love to hear from you. And do you know anyone who would have benefited from listening to this show this week? or even referring back to the other episodes of the show this month or this year, you can share our Spotify link with them. It's Letek Mondays Nigeria on Spotify to listen. You can also watch us on YouTube at CC Hub Africa. Um, listen, watch, and do well to share your feedback and comments. We have a very active community of people like you who are interested in leveraging technology to improve learning outcomes. So join, come over, join our WhatsApp community um, at Tech Mondays Nigeria or our Telegram community as well at Tech Mondays Nigeria. I'm sure you would be blown by the work that people like Toriola are doing and how you can position yourself to take advantages of the solutions that are bound in Nigeria. Until I come your way same time next week, I remain your host on the at Tech Mondays Nigeria show. Do well to listen, share, comment and share your feedback. It's bye for now. EdTech Monday is proudly brought to you by MasterCard Foundation and CC Hub.